What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some more news concerning Big John Fury. John Fury admits that he likes Jake Paul, says that he is more thrilled by the YouTube boxing than the conventional sport. Hmm. John Fury gave an interview with Donna Corby of all out fighting and revealed his admiration for Jake Paul and the entire YouTube boxing community. While speaking about the upcoming fight in Saudi Arabia between his son and Jake Paul, Big John said that he believed that the two boxers could be friends after the bout and that he thought Jake Paul is a very is very good at his job. He said, quote, Jake Paul is very good at his job, by the way. He's very good, but I'm having a game with him like he's having a game with me. Remember that. I'm an old, experienced guy in this field. I like the kid. I like him and his brother. I like them all. I like YouTubers. They bring good stuff, don't they? It gives me more of a thrill than conventional boxing because it's different. And people like different, don't they? I love that side of it. Okay. Those are the words of Big John Fury. And let me counterpunch. Um, I heard Derek Jasora say something about YouTube boxing. And he said he wished he would have got into YouTube boxing years ago. Why do you think he said that? Because for a guy like Derek Jasora, especially for a guy like uh, John Fury, John Fury really wasn't as successful at professional boxing as people think. People forget that Big John Fury was knocked out a lot. His record was not that good. He was not an outstanding heavyweight, um, professional heavyweight, professional boxer. You know, he looked totally different. Uh, but we know what happened to him in his career. Um, and YouTube boxing is a is a community of guys that, you know, flourished in becoming followers by social media and then decided one day, let's take it to a next level. Instead of uh, keyboards and, and mouses and monitors, let's strap on some gloves and go at it toe to toe. That's pretty much where it is. Like put your... You know, put your money where your mouth is. Let or let, should I say, let your fist do the talking? Okay, but um, I feel that because they done that, it was very, it was, it was something that was an add-on to social media. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you know, let's take it to the cage or take it to the ring or take it outside or take it wherever. But it's a physical altercation or it's a physical exercise or um. What's the word? Um, it's a physical ex expression that they decided to come with. Unfortunately, they already had guys that been training all their lives damn near to become fighters and turn their body into human weapons. OK, so when you did see these guys throw down, it did, in fact, look more entertaining because you had guys with not that much of skill. And because they didn't. Yeah, their hot their face was up in the air, and if someone swung in the direction of their face, they didn't know how to slip, bob, weave, duck, move, or whatever, they got punched in the mouth. And that's what Jake Paul provided for us. Now back to John Fury, I'm pretty sure a guy like that that is a fighting man, right, would have no problem knocking out guys, and he probably would be revered as the next uh, or the British version of Butterbean. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Knocking guys out because of, you know, the lack of skill that they possess because they're not fighters at all. They're just guys that, again, that became popular from YouTube and social media or whatever, and then decided one day to try to emulate boxers by trying to box or do whatever, slug, brawl. But Jake Paul is very good at his job, he says. Understand this, you know, um, when Jake, if Jake beats Tommy Fury, if he is to a level that he's able to, or he has the ability to take out Tommy Fury, I want people to listen to me and pay close attention. 
Do you think those knockouts are still going to come when that opposition elevates? And the answer is no. It's, it won't. Okay? It's not going to stay the same. If Jake Paul knocks out Tommy Fury, that's not a big accomplishment. But to Jake Paul, it is. But to understand, once he gets ranked amongst these fighters in the top 15, he's going to have to deal with real boxers. He won't be dealing with Tommy Fury that only had eight fights. He's going to be dealing with guys that had 20 fights. They might have lost five or six of them or two or three. But nonetheless, those particular uh, punches that Jake Paul lands, that jab and that right hand, that's not going to fly with guys that know how to block that or avoid that since they were five or six since the Golden Gloves or Silver Gloves or whatever type of amateur background they were from before turning pro. So in other words, people, those knockouts that you see Jake Paul do or have were from guys that weren't fighters. When he gets in there with fighters, those knockouts are going to stop. Well, they may stop for him. And if they don't stop for him, then he will be a phenom. Absolutely. Because then he's able not only to knock out guys that are 40 and 50 years old, damn near, but he's able to also knock out guys in the top 15. So then you should start looking at Jake Paul a lot differently. Then Jake Paul would be then very good at his job that he claims to newly have. Because the whole narrative to Jake, his whole mission is to prove to people that he is the real deal. He's not just a YouTuber that decided to put on boxing gloves like we explained earlier in the video. He's a guy that's actually been training with trainers that is determined to change his position and change his profession. But anyway, um, Jake Paul, though, on the uh, entertaining end or the promotion end, he's very good at his job. If that's what John Fury means, Absolutely, I agree with him 100% because Jake Paul does know how to promote a fight, okay, or promote an event. That is true, absolutely. But if it comes to him knocking guys out, okay, remember, slow your roll, guy, because he is uh, uh, still a guy and a novice fighter, if to say that, that still needs to prove himself in this particular platform. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of John Fury admitting to really liking Jake Paul. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.